Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm going to show you real quick how to install Builders QOL shaders for Minecraft 1.19.2. If you haven't played Minecraft 1.19.2 yet, then be sure to open up the Minecraft launcher and launch Minecraft 1.19.2 just once because that is required in order to be able to install shaders. If you've already played 1.19.2, you can use the timestamps on the video to skip forward to the next step. By launching 1.19.2, you'll make sure it's installed to your PC and like I said, that is required to install shaders. Now, once you've made it to the main menu, you can just click quit game. What you want to do next is open up your browser, do a quick Google search for builder SQL shaders and open up the link that says shaderpacks.net right here. If you can't find this link through Google, it will also be down in the description. Now, what you want to do is go over to download builders QL shaders and select how to install Optifine right here. I'm going to open this in a new tab because first we're going to have to install Optifine. You can also use the tutorial on how to install Iris shaders. The process is similar, but just for this video, we're going to be using Optifine. And all you got to do over here is Optifine, you click that right here. This will take you to optifine.net where you click downloads. And now you can click either download or mirror. It doesn't really matter. This one has an ad, this one doesn't. So just click this one if you want to support the creator of Optifine. Wait five seconds. And now a skip button has appeared, which you can click. And that will redirect you to a download page. Just click this or download and then close this tab because it usually redirects you to another ad. Now, as you can see, we have Optifine. It has this Java icon, but for some people it does not. And those people have to scroll down a little further to where it says jar fix in Java. Run this first program right here to fix .jar files. And if it says you need Java and it can't fix the files for you, then you're going to have to download and install this second one, which is the official download link for Java. Now, after that, you should all be able to click this file. It should open up an installer and all you got to do is click install. It may take a few seconds and then it will say Optifine is successfully installed. You click OK. This will close the installer and all we got to do now is download the shaders you would like to install. For this one we're going to be installing Builders QOL shaders right here and what you want to do is just click download Builders QOL right here. After a few seconds it should automatically download the file for you. All we got to do now is take this file drag it over to our desktop to make it easier to access, then open up the run window by pressing Windows R and go into percent app data percent and click OK. If you're on Mac OS, you gotta Google how to get to your .minecraft folder, but on Windows, it's very easy. Just percent app data percent and then click the Minecraft folder. If you've never installed shaders before, then you may wanna right click in here, hover new, click folder, and then create a folder called shader packs, all lowercase, hit enter, or just click this folder and then drag in builders QOL. And that's it. Now you can close this window, open up the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, it's just added a new Optifine profile. And since we just dragged in the builders QOL file, we can now just click play, read what it says over here. And if you understand the risks, you tick this box and click play. To check whether you've successfully installed shaders, go over to options, video settings. And as you can see, it has this shaders button over here and says Optifine HD something something. Click shaders, click the shaders that you want to select. In this case, that's going to be builders QOL. And by clicking it, it's going to be loaded. And there we go. We have now successfully selected builders QOL shaders. If you want to change anything about the shaders, you can go into shaders options right here. We're not going to do that for now. I just want to prove to you that we've successfully installed Builders QL shaders. So I'm going to hop into a world that I already set up and then we're going to see whether it has worked. And there we go. As you can see, we have successfully installed Builders QL shaders. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it helped, let me know down below in the comments. And of course, if you're into videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And then without any further ado, I will, of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.